This is probably the most talked about match in the Neo Egoist arc. With so many questions in mind, let's try and answer some of them in this video. Take note that this video is being made after the release of Chapter 207. Will Nico finally beat Isagi? After Nico's defeat against Isagi and Team Z during the first selection, he said that Isagi changed who he was, and that he was going to crush him and that he won't lose next time during Chapter 38. However, Isagi replies back saying that he will win too. So, it is kind of hard to tell who would win the match, unless it has a double meaning such as that one of them win in a different way. Maybe they win by evolving. I would want Izagi and Kaiser to lose this game as it would highlight the defense as well, and potentially even be a point where Izagi gets to evolve. All of this could just be a ploy to make us think that Nico might actually be able to win. But maybe we just see a second version of this scene right here. Will Nico stop the Kaiser impact? During the U20 match, Nico grew to enjoy playing as a defender where he uses his eyes to crush defenders. This demonstrates Nico's willingness to change both his style and his role for the sake of his ego without issue. Nico has managed to overcome the assault of Itoshi Sai, intercepting his pass twice, which was first for Sendo and the second towards Shido. However, he receives a yellow card for fouling Shido. Nico was frustrated as he saw the play coming, but was too slow to counter the play without fouling. His body was not in sync with his mind. Therefore, there was a delay in stopping Sai Itoshi's play and turning the tables around. This would foreshadow how he has changed and can stop plays almost instantaneously without hesitation. He might be able to see Kaiser as the biggest threat in one of the plays against Bastard Munchen with his watchtower ability and actually be able to stop Kaiser impact. Will Kaiser and Isagi work together? I think that Kaiser and Isagi's will to devour each other might somehow clash with the team. It might be based on how rationality may not always be the answer. The Uber's playstyle might showcase how playing rationally may not only be the best way of winning. Irrationality might also be an option, especially with Baro on the team. As long as it is the best path towards a victory, there are two scenarios wherein they work together. Either it would be late in the match wherein they finally realize that they need to use each other's strengths to win after being locked down by the Uber's defense, or they realize it too late after their loss to the Uber's. Will Kunigami lose to Baro? Yes. What are Snuffy's weapons? Well, we do not know a lot about Snuffy, except that he is known as the Crown Messenger. He brings victories to whatever team he is on, but somehow already lost his first game in the Neo Egoist League against PXG. It is possible that Baru did not get to play, so it would be very hard to see the Ubers lose 2 out of 3 games and fall to Bastard Munchen. It is said that Snuffy is based off Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He possesses a lot of skill and arrogance, and has won on different teams. As a coach, he probably knows that strikers need support from the quote-unquote supporting cast that Baro might like to call them. Snuffy's tactical IQ and desire to win will influence the overall structure and philosophy of the team and how he will take advantage of every single player on the field to increase their chances of winning. Will Raichi get his time to shine? It was shown in Chapter 205 after Isagi's interview that Raichi is bound to get his own highlight in the Neo Egoist League. His frustration pushes him to work harder and we might be able to see some clutch defensive plays from Raichi against the stacked defensive team. However, will it be enough to beat them? Will the Ubers beat Bastard Munchen? As much as I would like to throw a curveball and say that Bastard Munchen actually end up winning, there are just too plenty of signs that have been set up to show that the Ubers will take the win. Nico's counterplay during the match against Team Z didn't work before, but with the help of Snuffy, maybe it finally will. I believe that Kaiser's level was way above the rest. That is why I believe that having Kaiser and a lot of talented players on Bastard Munchen would be more than enough to win. We can't forget that he was valued at 300 million yen just after the first game, while Baro is priced at 100 million yen. But this was just after the second game as well as he did not have any offers after the first game, so it's a really big jump. It would seem like he did not even get to play during the first game. However, compared to the main players under Blue Lock, he was the only player to reach those numbers. It would make sense for Kaiser to be valued higher since he has already made a name for himself as being a part of the new gen World 11. My point is that Kaiser shouldn't be underestimated, but this game will show that Baro shouldn't be underestimated either. It will be a really close match, and we will finally get to see how good Baro is right now as he scored a hat-trick during the last game against Barca. Which team do you think will win this match? And if you have any scenarios that you would want me to cover, let me know down in the comments. Have you ever wondered what would happen if Tokimitsu had a big ego? Check this video out right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you for watching.